Lady Macbeth. Okay, Lady Mac. Return of the Mac. Return of the Mac. So this will be the fourth one. Though. No, this will be the third one. No, this will be the fourth oh, one. I'm will it? Vom. This will be the fourth I'm one. I'm gonna vomit right now. No, 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 no. Are you? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, where's your bathroom? We have to film it. No, film Lady Macbeth. You I'm are Lady Macbeth. What about you, Christian? Stop, <laughs> why filming? Macbeth was a Shakespearean play. I'd be. Did you guys know? I bet you didn't know. You didn't know. It's, I've talked to you, it's obvious. <laughs> it's obvious, but you didn't know that Kaz is actually the inspiration for Lady Macbeth. Ka uh, yeah, Shakespeare was like, yes. Listen. I heard you orchestrated the killing of Lady men. Lady McBee. Lady McBee. Of men Lady and McBee. kings. And she's like, yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. While I was asleep, I put daggers in front of his men. Men. And then I said, take my period away. Period. And then I almost Maybe. killed my child by bashing the skull into the breast ground. There it is. Ground. Are you gonna throw up here? I, I, Why are we here? I forgot to. <laughs> Look at the deal, baby. And then, she killed herself, yep. but before she killed herself, she had the most famous episode of what? Of sleepwalking. Yup. Just like uh, Ophelia, but worse. She didn't hand out flowers. Nope. What'd there she was do? no floral arrangement. No, 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 no. Danielle, give us a quote. Danielle, give us a quote. Oh, damn it, Spot. Full of sound and fury, signifying nothing. I mean, it's like clear to everybody here right now that Kaz, Catherine Gargano is so good at poetry. Is so good at poetry. And also, we love her. And we love her. And she is Lady Macbeth incarnate. And Christian never threw up. Never threw up once. Lady Macbeth, aka Kaz, is here to read her poem. Yes. I'm not drunk enough. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Should I take this off? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe that's why you felt like you had to worse. throw up. Please, can we be done? Oh my gosh, I don't know what you're talking about. That was amazing. <laughs> My Shakespeare professor is rolling over right now. Just like wherever she is, she just stopped, dropped, and rolled around in kind of agony. But other than that, it was great. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm, so with this. Um, I'm just going to read a couple of poems. Uh, this first one is called um, A Long Little Question Never Seemed to Hear. One. <clears throat> Once I was a jungle swallowing wild, whole without sleep, Months of eventually inside a constricting geography, alarmed and drawing never over and over again, I learned to pilot the world, lost time at close range. I kept, if, always a level bridge. Two, alone without landing, something in my plane's engine had broken. The plane me, the repair a matter of water. Sleep shipwrecked at daybreak, I never learned anything outside. A thousand miles inhabited territory of exhaustion, thirst. A child a thousand miles inhabited in the face of, of an absurd danger. A scrap of paper, a pen, my pocket geography closely drawn. Draw me carefully, then make another indulgent third drawing. Just the crate. I will need everything very small not so salt, small as sleep. Three, a long little question never seemed to hear. Words dropped, my airplane, what is an object but a lovely peel of skylight? Four, I learned a second Jupiter, so small a telescope, once by telescope, details never ask, how a window imagines a beautiful house, proof of little existence, number the fairy tales once for those who sound true live true forget my age my paints my pencils a portrait of entirely no longer bears uncertainty upon a time i like self cannot see the color of numbers 
five. Departure, journey, on the third day, I eat all the churches. Um, okay, and this one um, is called Everything That Happened Between Then and Now. Fold fate into paper cranes, use the letters I wrote you, ignite them one by one, use the matchbook I gave you. These birds have no feathers, they're so far from the sun, in the barrel in your backyard, bobbing, you try to drown them, snuff out the Icarus. Their necks won't bend, paper, weight, Lists, ink burning off, you make out, oil words running. You make out in the backyard, some small frame, some giant bird, some smoke. Um, this is called uh, Coastal. Wherever I am, my sandal breaks, and you are running into the tide to retrieve such an ugly thing. An enemy tickles your ankles, your skin rough from sand and cold, and here, now, your skin is flaking off, as it never did then, into the palm of my hand. I cup your cheek and ask where you've been. In your speech, I hear the echo of wind that bows the Sitka spruce along the coast, and I, the fog that follows you, kissing the hand you wave goodbye, instead of the girl who blocks your path. Never were my roots deep enough for the both of us, my palm too slicked with sweat to hold for long. Here, now, I see beyond the glass in the grain. Here, now, an enemy tickles my ankles as I follow after you. In the wind, I hear the echo of you running away from such an ugly thing. Okay. <clears throat> uh, this is called Two Lovers Saying Goodbye in Egypt. Two lovers saying goodbye in Egypt, a thousand times Alexandria, flakes of parchment reaching Alexandria, nothing dust that wasn't dust before. Alexandria split hope in the minor key, keep breathing, you crescendo sooner or later. Books you took with you, Alexandria, into the sea, into the fire, into that goodbye. How do you keep the whole heart open, pulse prop propped up on a minor scale? Alexandria, open the window. Let out the smoke, Alexandria. Ink burns faster than marble. Pull out the oxygen. A thousand lovers are burning. Tiny hands are burning. Open the mouth, the mouth of the river. Wet the pages of your tongue, Alexandria. You are a god, or have you forgotten? Alexandria, make peace. Alexandria, why are you singing, Alexandria? The lovers are out to sea. And then um, I have one more. Uh, uh, this is called Something That Sinks, Something That Survives. <clears throat> Suggest to me a coarser hair, greater density in the strands, something that sinks, something that survives, beneath whatever ocean you've chosen to side with. The Atlantic Ocean is the superior ocean, says that uncle in the film that you love. On any given day, there's a hair, hair's breadth between your jealousy and anger. You knot them up in tangles and expect me to comb through the mass with politesse. You know, I say, with that lilting voice you love, perhaps it wouldn't be so bad if, but you hate candor in a woman's body. You hate Mrs. Dalloway and the flowers she bought herself. You hate the scarlet letter A that burned into Hester's chest but refused to ignite her. You proposed to love the sea, so I bought you the chronology of water and watched you, locked it, watched you lock it away, pages unturned, in that steel box you keep beneath your bed. Machiavelli's your kind of guy, if you ever picked up a book. I prefer the little prince. S'il te plaît, dis-moi un moto. Life wouldn't be so bad on a planet with only morning and night. Bonjour, bonsoir. At least then I'd never have to hear you snore. It would only take two days to say the final phrase. Bonjour, get, bonsoir, out. I read Othello again last night. I think we both know who you are. <laughs> Give up your pond, Walden. Something my grandmother used to say. Something to do with the fragility of the male ego. You don't want us at the table. You don't want us in the garden. Fuck the garden. We're starting a farmer's market. I'll eat the peach fuzz, I'll eat the flesh, I'll eat the pit. Let another tree grow inside me. Let another woman pick my fruit tree. 
let her escape the garden. We're starting a carnival, a traveling show. We'll tour the country barefoot, bring the rain, leave poems on doorsteps, some pretty, some true. I'm tired of the usual equations, interior masculine, exterior feminine, nature and song, and they found Ophelia face down, eyes open, reading want ads stuck to the bottom of the lake. Looking for the dancing queen, this is your magic man. It's no surprise she stayed under. Reclaim the lake, Ophelia, drink it all up, drain it dry. Cracked land is our land too. We are the cities, we are the bridges, we are that ocean that you claim to love. Hit us with a closed fist, Break your hand on Lucy's bones. Hit us all the way back to the first woman. We are fused together, a hundred million women in my woman, and I am in a hundred million women, and we are the streets and the caves, and you can't touch anyone we haven't touched. You give us two choices, revolt or forget. We've done this before and before and before and before, and we will do what we've always done. We will become asteroids with only one rose, and we will float free, and we will radicalize, and we will swallow all the blue the water has to offer, and when we are done, we will swallow the sky. Thank you.